Hi, this is Debbie Nicholson and I just want to talk to you today about taking care of yourself when you're an online entrepreneur. It's so very easy not to. It's so very easy to neglect yourself when you do the work that we do. I mean, you tend to be sitting for hours doing your surfing, your emails, your writing your books or creating your landing pages and next thing hours have gone by and you haven't moved from the position you started in several hours earlier so you really need to start thinking about helping your body to be able to sustain yourself for many many years to come now the first thing that i do when i get up in the morning is read my scriptures now some of you may not be scripture reading people but that's fine if you read 30 minutes of a good book something wonderful um something that's motivational i know that you've probably got heaps of books out in your computer already that you could be reading 30 minutes if you think that you're going to waste time or set the alarm for 30 minutes because that's what i do and that way you know that everything's going to happen right on time and you can get back to your work the very first thing i do is read for 30 minutes and then of course if you're lucky enough to have a um have a have a um walking machine a treadmill sorry about that blank spot right then and here i am out in the garden because there's cars coming up and down the street and i just had the mailman um stop me with his scooter and so somebody's just come up and park and to get their mail out of their leader box so sort of took me away from you for a moment but the next thing of course is the treadmill if you're lucky enough to have one walking for 30 minutes on one of these while listening all the while listening to your audio or watching on your television screen or on your computer screen something that is motivational for 30 minutes and then if you're lucky enough to have a, a weight lifting machine then you need to be doing 30 minutes exercise on that now even if i was lucky enough to have such a thing in my house i wouldn't be doing it i mean fortunately for me right now i am at my daughter's house and her and husband are both fitness trainers they have their own personal gym downstairs where they train many clients and so first thing in the morning i could take advantage of many of the machines but of course I prefer to just do my own thing because when I'm in Pitkin I don't have access to these machines so you do get into a, an exercise routine of your own and so it's best to stick with it no matter where you are and so I have an upper body movement schedule that I've routined to put out for myself and while I've been here my daughter has taught me how to plank so that's been an interesting exercise for me who has never done something like that before uh, and so that's helped me to keep my upper body loose and fit then of course i need to tell you that you need to be drinking lots of water lots and lots of water i have a 750 ml pump bottle that i drink out of all day and i put a tablespoon of um, cider vinegar in apple cider vinegar in it and i drink two bottles of that a day and two bottles of just ordinary water Water is so important for your body, it will help that brain of yours to keep ticking along so even don't ever neglect the water that needs to go into your body because it also eliminates waste that you um, incur while you do your everyday living routine. Now also I need to tell you that you need to eat. It's not good to be snacking on dips and snacks and chips and and sweets and ice cream tubs and having a fridge nearby where you can just grab something out of it quickly is not good. You do need to be able to stop at least three times a day and eat uh, something properly, something, eat something good. Like first thing in the morning I have a shake that I have and that seems to take me over until mid-morning and then of course I've got um, nuts, I've got my almonds, my Brazil nuts, my walnuts, all nuts that are good for my body and the different parts of my body. Um, then I've got lunch time, so you've got to take time for some lunch. I always have my big meal at lunch time, so it takes a bit more time than the other meals take. In mid-afternoon I might have some fruit or I might have a glass of tomato juice, something like that. And at night time I just have several pieces of fruit before I actually decide that oh, well, I've got to give up and go to bed eventually. <laughs> so you need to be having a good eating routine, you need to be drinking a lot, you need to be exercising, you need to be reading, you need to be feeding that brain. 
feeding your brain so that when you're composing your letters, when you're composing your emails, when you're composing little webinars and talks like this on the video screen, you have things that will pop into your mind because you've read about them and it's wonderful how this just adds to your daily repertoire. So these are things that I'm advising you to do as an entre online entrepreneur as myself um, to keep yourself going for many many years to come and now I'm going to be fighting with the airplane up there so I'm going to have to stop this video right now but thanks for watching this video this is Debbie Nicholson signing out and I'll be talking to you again tomorrow bye bye